for you how to draw maps and across your home or imaginary friends with simple shapes like circles and squares. And I'm going to show you how those simple shapes, along with those of maps, can help create a moving system, also known as animation. Okay, all you need is a simple draw here and set your draw on. I'm going to use a pencil sure what that is. and drawing on an animation paper that's independent table will work. First, draw. Max's head is made up of a rounded off square. A smaller square on the inside creates his face. Now, how do I know where to put the eyes and things? I'm going to lightly draw two guidelines. One vertical, right down the center, and another horizontal, about two-thirds of the way down, because Max's eyes are pretty round. Now, what kind of shape do you need to draw? Guidelines are helping you draw two circles along the horizontal line. Rectangle. Close cut. Use lines to connect them all. All these connected shapes give us man. And horizontal guidelines help us to know where to place the two circles that make up Max's eyes, where to place his nose, his mouth, and where to part his hair. A circle makes up Max's body, including a triangle for his arm, rectangles for the cuffs of his pants, and lines that connect all the shapes together that give us Max. Now, in order to make Mac move, you use the same shapes and just put them in different positions, like this. See? There's our squares, our circles, triangles, and rectangles, just in different places. Several of these different drawings help make Mac move. In fact, it takes 30 of these different drawings to create one second of animation. Our animation will be about five seconds long. You can use math to figure out that that will take 30 times 5 equals 150 drawings. That many drawings can look like this. Put them all together and you'll get an animation that looks something like this. Thank you. Thank you.